Hi everybody, my name is Garth Harwood. I'm the Director of Education Programs here at Hidden Villa. I am standing today in a prime example of how at Hidden Villa we use science ideas every day to, to conserve one of our most precious resources, water. This thing I'm standing in might not jump right out to your eye at first, but if you look carefully you can see a little ridge of soil surrounding me and that is called a swale. Inside this little ridge is a hole in the ground. A very shallow but rather large hole. We have a number of these spread out around Hidden Villa at places where water runs down slope after a rain. Right here, for example, we're next to a junction of some of our farm roads. These roads get very tightly compacted by all the vehicles that drive over them and when it rains hard here at Hidden Villa, a lot of water runs off of the roads. It goes through a ditch and if we weren't careful, it would go right into that creek bed right there and flush away and be gone. Well, here in California, we don't get a whole lot of water. The few rainy days we do get that leave enough water on the ground to collect and use for the whole year are pretty precious. So how do we take advantage of that? We catch that water before it flows away in a swale. And then it slows way down. If it were carrying any of our precious topsoil that we could grow our crops with, when it slows down, that soil can then drop out and be saved. But the water itself soaks into an underground sponge called an aquifer. We can't see it, but science has revealed that it is in fact there. So once all that water from all the different swales across Hidden Villa soaks down into that aquifer, then we can sink our well into it and draw that water back, almost like a bank account of water, and use it throughout the summer months when there's no rain. This process also occurs naturally through things like mud puddles. I'd like to introduce another conservation strategy we use here at Hidden Villa to save water called mulching. Let's go over here. So now I'm standing beside a mulch pile. A mulch pile is composed of sticks and chunks of wood and some old leaves and things like that. They came from trees so they can rot and become part of the soil again. But it's going to take a while for wood to do that and we're going to take, take good advantage of that. So when I get a big forkful of this mulch right here and come on over and spread it around on the ground like that and we do that over an entire area such as this, the mulch protects the soil from washing away in heavy rains. But more importantly, it also acts like a sponge and collects the water that falls. So even if there's just a little bit, it's going to be held there, soaked up by each piece of wood like a sponge, and plant roots can gradually access it over a much longer period of time than if it had just fallen as rain and washed away without being held back by the mulch. So mulch has a big advantage for conserving water here at Hidden Villa. It doesn't hurt that it also keeps the weeds down and helps the farm look tidier. So I'd like to conclude by asking you a couple of questions. First of all, why is it important that everyone conserves some water? And secondly, how could you conserve water where you live? This is Garth from Hidden Villa saying, thanks for listening, folks.